then, just as I was trying to rescue Cinder from Malifor, he dragged me kicking and screaming into the underworld. And I was like, no way, Jose. And he was like, uh, yes way, Jose. And then picture the most incredible, awesome fight you can. And that's what took place. I had no choice but to leave Cinder behind. I only barely got away myself. <laughs> I'm just happy our little guy's home and safe, especially with Strykor on the loose again. Man, this Strykor guy you keep talking about sounds like a real jerk. But how did this fight with Malifor change your appearance and voice? Well, you know how a really stressful experience can turn someone's hair gray? My battle was so intense that it altered my entire physical makeup. Hmm, this is hard to believe. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? Fighting off Malifor, escaping from the underworld, your appearance? It's hard to believe. <laughs> you are this awesome! Whew, yeah. This is all a bit difficult to swallow. Which part? All of these jelly beans, they're difficult to swallow. Oh, haha. <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, this whole experience has left me weakened. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need lots of alone time to rehabilitate myself. Alone. Have I mentioned that I need to be alone? Nonsense! Yeah. Now that we have you back, I'm not going to let you out of my sight. Never, oh, ever, 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 never. Whew. There's something I don't understand, though. If you were able to fight off Malifor, then why- Oh, guess who brought homecoming gift bags? Ooh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Bye, guys. Thanks for visiting. Okay, Ooh. talk soon. Okay, bye. Man, I thought they'd never shut up. Ugh. Wait a minute. I don't believe it. I can control technology now. Huh. Being evil keeps getting better and better. Strikor! I think we need to establish some ground rules about the pop-ins. I don't <gasps> react well to my servants talking back. Aeon must have knowledge of the map to Arcus's whereabouts. Devise a way to force him to give up its location and... <gasps> <gasps> hey! Buddy, what's up? We've got class in the art show, pal. Oh. You know, I'm still feeling kind of under the weather. I think I'll just hang back today. <laughs> Eon told me to keep an eye on you. So if you're not going to class, I'll bring class to you. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Well, that, that seems pretty contradictory. On second thought, I'm suddenly feeling much better. Let's go to class. Just give me a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is that a new poster? <sighs> yep. <laughs> Nothing gets past you. These Skylanders are more annoying than I thought. <sighs> now get to work. Hey, Elf, what piece did you decide to enter in the art show? It's a work in progress, but isn't it pretty? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I really love the uh, execution of the piece. Aw, thanks. Where's yours? Right here. It's a self-portrait. Oh. Okay, okay. Hey, speaking of Master Eon, anyone seen him around? Hey, Pop, what did you paint this year? Uh, well, uh... Oh. Pop, it's incredible. I, I, I feel like I finally understand modern art. Sky artists, unite! Right, I know you're all excited to look at each other's work, but first, 
a brief lecture. Light and shadow from prehistory through... Huh? Bringing a cell phone? To class? Well, I hope you brought enough for everyone. Uh, yep, I got enough. Oh, how youth is wasted on the young. Living your lives on those pesky devices. I couldn't agree more. For, uh, uh, for, for, forgive me. Mm. I'm just obsessed with this new app. Ah. It counts how many steps I take all day. Uh, I just dropped by to sneak a peek at your work for the art show. Oh, that's a nice piece. I'm not art. While on the subject of art, I am super interested in the art of the Arcanes. You wouldn't happen to have a, a map I could use to see some, do you? 5, 56, 57, 58. I love it. Mm. <laughs> Ah, oh, Spyro. What do you have for me? You're gonna love this, Strikes. Can I call you Strikes? Cool, cool, cool. So I know how to get Eon to give up the map to Arcus. I'll use my new magic power over technology to program his phone to brainwash him into telling the truth. Interesting. Right? So next time Eon checks this app he's obsessed with, he'll be incapable of lying, and that's when I get him to spill the beans. Ingenious. People are obsessed with their phones. Isn't that right, Glumshanks? Yes, sir. Greebles are possessed by their scones. Oh, father! I was thinking, uh, it's time to tick some items off my father-son activity bucket list. I'm far too busy to deal with any sentimental bonding right now. Oh, okay. Oh, please, can we do something? Please, 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 please! Yes, fine. Go get ready, and I'll meet you outside at noon. Yay! I'll grab my rackets and shuttlecock. Sir, I am touched that you're ready to take on your parental duties. Huh. I have no intention of spending time with that offspring I have nothing in common with. If you bring it up again, I'll dip you into hot lead and turn you into the world's biggest paperweight. <laughs> you know, you and your son have more in common than you think. And I know there is good inside chaos. Very deep. <clears throat> Really deep, like you need spelunking equipment to find it, but it's there. Uh, mm hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. It, with Spyro still recovering, now is not the time to deal with chaos and strike or soon. I promise. Now, where does Pop keep that beard elixir? If I could just get him alone, face to face, and talk to him. You tried <laughs> reaching out to him during your fight at the castle, and he turned his back on you. Aha! Beard elixir. I know it's hard to accept, but right now, the only voice Chaos is listening to is Strykor's. 215, 216, 217, 218, 219. Changeling elixir. Soon, Eon. No! Oh, Spyro! Good to see you again so soon. I, I want to reiterate my apology. I, if I just come clean about your ancestors, none of this would have happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, really, not a big deal. Not a big deal? Oh, such selflessness. But I can tell it's really bothering you. Bing! Oh, hey, you hear that? Sound like your, uh, your phone. And I swear, I swear by my beard that I will find a way to make it up to you. Well, you can make it up to me by revealing the secrets of that lean physique. How many steps have you walked today? A million? Oh, Spyro. Well, let me check. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Well, that's a shame. I'm out of storage. Looks like I'll have to delete an app to make room. Oh, well. So long, Walker Troll. Oh, but sir! Are you sure that you want to go back to counting steps in your head? I mean, what is this, 2014? Well, I'm certainly not going to delete my other favorite app. It shows you what you'd look like with a crazy beard on your face. See? <laughs> look at me, I'm all, all bearded out. After all these years, I'm finally going to spend some quality time with Father. And he's only three and a half hours late. Boy, does he know how to build suspense. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Bottoms up. Ah! 
Chaos! Father, I knew you'd make it! Oh, son, I've missed you so much. Father, this is so unlike you, showering me with awkward displays of affection. Oh, uh, uh, right. Of course. Father, we are going to have so much fun today. I've put together a full itinerary of activities for us. Oh, really? What did you have in mind? First, I was thinking we could throw some unsuspecting Mabu off a cliff. Then we can steal some money from a local charity. And if we have time, we'll sneak into a movie theater and loudly text message. <laughs> Chaos. All of those things sound extremely evil. I know. It's going to be great. I have a better idea. What if we tried helping the innocent for a change? Help the innocent? Are you insane? Or rather, outside your normal range of insanity? I just thought maybe we could switch things up. Try doing some good for once. Doing something good for others. Huh. That sounds pretty out there. But I guess I'll give it a shot. If Eon's not interested enough in his Walkatron app, then I have to find something he is interested in. That's it! Eon's favorite rock band, the Beardles. I'll put the brainwashing program in a free download of the new Beardles music video. Once I email it to Eon, he won't be able to resist looking at it, and then the map is as good as mine. You know what? That new deodorant is doing nothing to cover up your ridiculous stank. Oh, really? By the way, your gears are totally showing. That was kind of brutally honest. Hey, check it out. Someone sent an email with the new Beardles music video. Nice. I don't even want it, and yet I feel like I have to have it. Ah. <gasps> Quick question. What do you guys think of Master Eon's beard? Oh, that ridiculous thing? He looked way better when he just had mutton chops. Last email was sent to Master... Email list? Not Master Eon? Ah! Oh, I just brainwashed the entire academy. Kaboom, Hugo, I need you to defuse the situation immediately. Yo, Eon, word on the street is the new Beardles music video just got emailed to everyone, and I know how much you love the Beardles. Not now, Spyro, sorry. I'm in the middle of a stressful situation. Hmm, you know what always calms my nerves? New Beardles music videos. My, my, my apologies, I don't have time to look at my phone with all the trouble going on. Uh, trouble? What, what, what trouble? I've had it up to here with you. It's not my fault. You can't handle the truth. What's going on here? She told me that my self-portrait doesn't look anything like me. I'm just being honest. Oh, you want honest. Your painting's impressionist style was derivative, and you wouldn't know contrapposto if it came and bit you in the butt. <gasps> oh, yeah? Well, that painting of mine that you guys love so much, I just accidentally spilled my breakfast smoothie on a canvas and submitted it to the art show. Shows how much you guys know about art. That's it. Why is everyone saying such horribly honest things to each other? Master Eon, I cannot tell a lie. I have absolutely no idea. Okay, Chaos. This is the perfect opportunity. Yes, this is the perfect opportunity. To laugh at that stupid sheep for getting stuck in a tree! <laughs> stupid sheep! <sighs> what I meant was it's time for you to do some good and bring the sheep down to safety. <laughs> Fine! Whatever you say, Father. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Ugh! Feels really weird coming out of my mouth. Here's your dumb sheep. Oh. <laughs> well done, son. How do you feel? I feel good. See? I knew you had it in you. Who knew being nice could be so gratifying? Dad? Would you go on a good old-fashioned father-son fishing trip with me? Absolutely, Chaos. <laughs> I'd love to. Is something wrong, Father? <clears throat> uh, not at all. Uh, just a little frog in my throat. <clears throat> Sorry, Chaos. Gotta go. Abandoning me right when I need him most? He's gotten so good at being a father! 
right when I was making progress. Well, at least I know he's not a lost cause. For now, that's progress enough. We need to stop them from fighting each other. Jetvac, thank goodness. We need your help. I'm not helping anyone until I find out who wrote this teacher evaluation of me. Your lectures are as exciting as watching paint dry while being bored to death. Who would write something so horribly forthcoming? I, I would. would. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! What can we do? Well, we can start by checking out that new Beardle's music video. This battle is of the utmost urgency. Only after it's resolved will I enjoy the sweet sounds and visuals of my beloved Beardle's. <laughs> Guys! Stop! I know you all may be feeling a little extra honest today, but there's no need to fight. You know what? He's right. <sighs> I am feeling extra honest today, and I have to say it's always bugged me how Spyro tries to take control of every situation. Yeah, you are pretty That's controlling. About a micromanager. Uh what else don't you like about me? You snore fire in your sleep. You don't wear enough deodorant. You have a really soft handshake. Wow. See? Doesn't that feel better, though? You talk while you're chewing. You laugh at your own jokes. Yeah, OK. Well, now we got it. Thank you. That's enough. I think you're we... a horrible flyer. You bite Pyro your tries to take control of every you situation. You fire in your sleep. You don't wear enough deodorant. You bite your towel. You don't wear enough deodorant. You don't wear enough deodorant. You What happened? Why were we fighting? Ever since I downloaded the Beardle's music video, I haven't been able to stop telling the truth. It must have brainwashed anyone who watched it. Spyro, that surge of lightning. It... it cured us. I've never seen you do anything like that before. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. My powers just... reacted. Oh, well, there's nothing to be sorry for. Because of you, everyone is okay. Well, everyone except for... Howard Cosell phone? Yes, I also named my phone. Let's not pretend like you're surprised. Spyro should have made contact by now. Sir, you keep stressing yourself out about this, you're going to give yourself frown lines. You're right. A few minutes of peace and quiet is exactly what I need. Here you are, Father. I'm ready if you are. Ready for what? For our fishing trip. First one to the river is a rotten egg. Which will also be our bait, by the way. Uh, 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 Sorry, my bad. Uh, let me help, Father. Get back! Hmm? You've been nothing but a nuisance ever since I returned. Just leave me alone. But our day, protecting the innocent together. I, protecting the innocent? Why would I ever do that? I want to destroy the innocent. This is why I chose Spyro over you. You asked to see me? Ah, Spyro, yes. I wanted to thank you again for your help in quelling this fiendish truth-telling debacle. Surely the work of Strigor. Oh, man, if I ever get my hands on that guy. You handled yourself deftly out there today. It's not always easy to hear the truth. But it's important to see other points of view in order to learn and experience personal growth. For example, I used to have mutton chops until someone finally told me they didn't suit me. So I grew a beard. And look at me now. But your fight with Malfor has clearly altered more than just your appearance. It's made you even more heroic. These are dark times, Spyro. We must be watchful and vigilant, both from threats external and within. Well, speaking of being watchful, I spent all morning fixing your phone. That Beardle's music video is already downloaded and waiting for you to watch. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet of you, Spyro. But I've decided to ditch my cell phone and go for something much hipper. And all the cool people are going retro these days. Now, apparently, you plug them into the wall and then it rings. Progress! <sighs> I don't get it. 
one minute my father is cruel, the next he's nice, then back to cruel again. Yes, it is strange how an unhinged megalomaniacal lord of darkness could be so emotionally unbalanced. If only there was some way I could prove <sighs> to him I'm darker and more capable than Spyro. Ow! Who put this stupid thing in my way? How did you not see that there? That's it! I have a brilliant idea! Sir, I think you really need to stop using that phrase. It's lost all its meaning. You know how I'm always saying I'd be a terrific pirate captain? No. Exactly! So if I take this pirate ship and use it to find the island of Arcus before Dark Dragon What's-His-Face, Father will see just how worthy I am! Sir, that plan is the most utterly... Actually, it's not really a bad idea. What kind of topsy-turvy alternate world have I fallen into? Come, Glamwad. You shall serve the high seas as my first mate. Uh, well, sir, your father has claimed ownership of me, and in his ever-trusting nature, has outfitted me with this fashionable tracking anklet. I think I have to stay on the ground. Not to worry, Glamquat. I'll get a pirate crew of my own, and I know exactly where to find them. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure somehow I'll get blamed for this. Together now. Together, together. Together now. Hey, yeah, we should come together. Let's be heroes in the night. Like spotlights beaming in the black sky. We can lift the dark. Thank you.